actually you lot. I do like leaning on a gate. Must have been a farmer in a past life. How are you all doing? We're at a place called Airview Farm. It's just outside Ringwood. It's a caravan and motorhoming club site, a CL site. It's got five pitches on the site. You have to be a member. It's an adults only. And also, you have to book in advance. It's a really, really nice little site, just nestled in the countryside. There's a nice dog walk from the site, if you've got a dog. It goes through a load of lakes and round the back of some lakes and to a pub. So we're going to do that later. It's going to be good. So I hope this audio is coming out all right. Cause it was, I've done it once already and it was a bit blowy because it's really windy today. So I've changed my setup. Look at me barn it. It's all over the place. So I'll take you for a look around. Richard and Julie own this place. I have to say that carefully because I keep saying Richard and Judy. Richard and Julie own the site. And uh, I'll put a link up to where it is in the comments below and I'll put a couple of search for site pictures up so you can see whereabouts it is now. We've just been on a site called Ocknell. It's coming in the forest site. And we see some lovely, lovely wildlife there. I've just put a bit in now that I've sent to my mate so you can have a look at what we saw just before we left. Check this out. Dan's here. Look, Dan. Hello. That was another one, look. Talk to the animals. Speak with the animals. Dr. Polio, hello. See how close you can get to fellow deer when you're a wildlife ninja. Yeah, little young male. There he goes. That was good, wasn't it? Right outside the van. Absolutely fantastic. Anyway, let's show you around this site and then we'll take you for a walk in a minute to the pub. If I can talk properly, that'd be great. Now there you go, Airview Farm. You'll receive an email, and on that email will be the key code to the gate. Key code there, and that lets you in, obviously. So, that's the dog walk. You come out through the gate, and there's a little kissing gate there, and the dog walk takes you all the way round there, right over the back of that field. You can see over behind that hedgerow and all the way around the lakes. We're gonna do that later. So, on the way in, there's a little sign board here that tells you where you're gonna be pitched up and tells you how to pitch and where to pitch and it shows you Richard and Julie's mobile number. You're coming down this little, it's lovely and solid here, really nice hard standings. And then you've got We've got one neighbour, I won't get him in because it's, there's Sammy, the old sun's gone in, it's getting a bit chilly and there's the boy. So we're on pitch two, nice little pitch, they're all really flat, all I've done is stuck a chock under my wheel just to help the water run out my shower unit, there's old Gladys. I don't know if you've noticed, I've got a new header and logo, what do you reckon on that then? Got it from a chap on Fiverr which is an app and a website and he's done a flipping absolutely outstanding job I'll put the link into him in the comments below because he was such a lovely bloke really helpful and uh, did me a sterling job there anyway they're all hard, uh, they're all pretty hard standing not actually gravel hard standing but this ground is absolutely solid they put skid mats on there and things to put inside your awning just in case it does get a bit boggy but it is absolutely solid here and there's electric hookups all the way around this site. Now in that little bit of shrubbery there, through those two little sets of bushes, is a tap. There's a blackbird on the post. 
Look at that, look. That's proper owly, that is. We heard the owls out last night, didn't see them. And in between those two shrubs there is another water point for your fresh water. Yeah, look at this, lovely. I like little sites like this, as you know. And also, this seal site has got a little shower and toilet cubicle on it. That is really sweet, really nice. I'll take you in there and show you in there. But this is the other bits and bobs you're going to need. There's recycling. There, your bins. That there is your grey waste. Disposal. Not for drinking that one. And here is your black waste. Look at that. Nice long hose. Chrome toilet, right nice and clean. A flush. And a little hand basin on the back there. Which is really nice. Only green fluid only. Okay. Only biodegradable fluids only. We only use that in our van. Because the other stuff isn't good for the environment. And this is the toilets. This is where you get your details. If you want to pause these little signs and have a read, you are more than welcome. But this is like a little information centre there. There's a map there you can take. All laminated maps for walking. And directions to Lindhurst, Brockenhurst, Bewley, etc. Sometimes they have free range eggs in here. Which has got an honesty box. And that's Blashford Lakes. It's a wildlife reserve, so you can go and have a look around there. It's absolutely lovely. It's just on the other side of the lake on the other side of the lane outside of where we are. And also there's another lake behind us, and we're gonna do this walk today. We're gonna walk round here today. And end up at the pub, luckily enough. And this is your toilet and showers. Or shower. So it's all spotlessly clean. Let's put the light on. Look at that. It's absolutely spotless. These little CL sites, the people keep them so clean and tidy. There's a little basin there. And the toilet. It's all squeaky clean. Little light now. Yeah, it's lovely. Nice facilities. Swallows, barn swallows landing on this. I don't know if you can hear that. Barn swallows landing on the fence here. So that is it. I think it's half an acre. The actual site itself. Very flat. Very well drained. Nice and clean. Adults only site that accepts dogs. What's not to like? In this field here, there was a couple of fallow deer last night, mooching around, like a colt going into that woodland. Yesterday evening, when I was taking a dog for a walk, and they moved through the woodland and come into this field to graze. That's what fallow deer do. They hide up during the daytime and then come out into the open at night to graze. They've still got that instinct in them to uh, make sure they're out in the open during the night time just in case there's any large predators around, which we haven't got anymore. But yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? You're on a road here, which quietens down about six o'clock, goes really, really nice and quiet. But you do get the cars start up early-ish in the morning. Seven o'clock, I had the first car. Uh, I usually wear an eye mask and put earplugs in anyway. I've always done that when I'm out camping because as soon as the birds start singing this time of year I'm laying there awake trying to identify all the bird song. Which doesn't help. Oh, there's Gladys looking all gleaming. Look at that. There we go. Covered in dust. Need cleaner. Right. Let's go and get something to eat and then we're going to go for a walk. <laughs> So we're off for our walk. So we come up, I don't know if you see the 
sight behind me, see the vans behind us, just had a word with our lovely neighbours. Got two little Boulder Terriers, I love Boulder Terriers, they're lovely. And uh, we're going for our walk over to the lake. Now, Blatchford Lakes is that way, it's behind us. But in front of us, on the same side as the site, is another big lake with a footpath going through it. Which is, uh, which is looking very promising. We're gonna have a look, but look at this behind me. I don't know if you can see this. I think Sammy just took a bit of footage of it. It's a horse chestnut, it's a conker tree, and it's got pink flowers on that one. Absolutely stunning. And I've got to flip you around and show you this. Foxgloves, Oxalis, look at those. Absolutely beautiful. One of my favorite flowers of this time of year. You cannot beat them. Really, really pretty. Very poisonous, and they make a heart drug from them as well. Everything's out in bloom now. We've got the elderflowers there, look, which are edible. You can make elderflower wine and elderflower fritters with those. And then when the berries come onto the tree, when the flowers are gone, you can make elderberry wine. Bit of a booze theme here. Elderberry wine, and also a really nice cordial, which is great for bronchial disorders. And then amongst that, you've got your stinging elves, which are hugely beneficial this time of year. And the seeds are coming on these as well. You can collect the seeds and add them to salads, etc. Really nice. Really good for you. And we're gonna walk around the edge of this field. And then over there, behind Sammy, is the other gate. So let's take you around there and let's have a look. through that gate on the other side of the field brings you through another meadow which is lovely there's all uh, fellow deer sign in that field back there uh, drop-ins an individual deer dropping is called a fumit and if you find a clump of them together that's called a crotty if you're interested in this sort of thing right, we're walking now with the one of the lakes to our left, following the footpath along. So we see it's where it takes us. But it might be worthwhile to sit out here. So he looks ever so owly around here. Coming up to another another kissing gate. We'll go through that. We'll come out to the lake. <laughs> See this, it's here, this frothy stuff you see on grass stems, this is on bramble. But inside there is a frog hopper nymph. And it sucks the, the sap out of the plant. And it's known as cuckoo spit. And in there it's like a protective frothy layer that protects the the little nymph. Amazing. We've got sticky willy or cleavers. Makes a really good tea, that does. It's the ones you stick to your mate's back when they're not looking. And off we go up here. Walking along the back of the lakes now. There's a lake, it's on the left hand side. The footpath is actually 
fenced off so you can't actually get to the lake not this one anyway and we're doing a little moot tramp the lakes in a nature reserve hopefully it should be an upcoming vlog it's beautiful down here dog roses and a hedgerow fetch absolutely stunning i love this time of year style. <laughs> I think I can smell the pub from here. Style. Getting closer, I can feel it in my bones. Here we go, always follow your nose. The old beams in, in Ipsley, dog friendly pub. And it looks like it's got nice food on the menu. So let's go and have a look, eh? Happy days. Mm, bit of shandy. Right, what we got here? Here's the mains. I ain't got to worry about the music because I'm not monetarized. I think I'm gonna go for them. This is what your dog's supposed to do when you're eating. Stuck in the world. Those ribs, one of the best ribs I've ever had, I think. So much meat though. Oh. Leg is a shortcut the way out. Let's keep that. Silly name, but all sorts of stuff. Sure, I like it. Wow. You did wrong. 
that one? I'm still not sure. food coma now so we're back so nice walk on the way there to the pub took us about half hour 40 minutes on the way there and literally on the way back you haven't got to cuddle your food baby too long literally it's about i don't know 10 minutes down the road to get back pub grub was absolutely lovely now it's time to go and crash out in the sun happy days so that's that stay safe stay sane catch you on the flip side you take care eh? bye